like me, start your vlogging using a phone. Lack of gear and equipment sometimes is one of the main excuses for procrastinating starting your first video recording. Come see my very simple setup and then you stop giving excuses. Welcome to my channel, I'm Juliet Migwe and on this channel I share with you DIY home decor tips and my life hacks and today I'm sharing my life hack on how I've done a very simple setup using my Samsung S7 phone. I'm not doing this video as a techie, just sharing my experience as a one-man production or a one-woman production as a person who does not just sit down vlogging but practical DIYs as well as someone who has learned on the job. Why use a phone? Most of you have one now, it's on hand and now there are many many apps that you can use to edit beginning to end on your phone, depending on whether you have iPhone or an Android phone. So I'll share my experience today as a Samsung newbie user. My Samsung S7 has worked great for me. It is what I had and I've decided to share this video with you. Before I upgrade to my next camera, please check out my unboxing in the card above and in the description below. But as we say, you cannot stop recording because you're looking for a camera. Use what you have right now in your hands. Please remember to stick till the end where I'll share three channels that have really helped me as a newbie to learn. Most of this, what I'm doing today, I didn't know how to do until I started. Remember to subscribe if this adds value to you so that you can get notified of my next video. This, as you can see, is my very simple setup. It's in my family room, so I just have a table there, my tripods, a little lighting. Before I can upgrade, I decided I need to start now. I started using my Samsung S7. It has everything I needed to start. I can use the Pro settings in the camera when I use the back camera, which is quite good to do, to change the forecast to change the settings to fit my need. I also like it because with the uh, SD card, micro SD card that was provided, I can record up to 128 GB. Of course, I never get there, but I have enough memory when I use my SD card. The only thing that I've had a problem with is when I'm trying to shoot my B-roll, sometimes I zoom and there's distortion. Sometimes when I need to move it from the tripod, the mount on the tripod, it's not as a quick release. That brings me to my Fopic 55 inch tripod. Thankfully, it came with a phone mount and I was able to continue my recording. It has a carry case and it's very lightweight in case you need to travel with just remember when we're doing the setup to make sure your phone is facing upright not so that your image is not flipped when you're done i did this at the beginning and i was i had to now do extra editing to and i had an issue with my programming at that time my problem so far has been because of the 55 inch height, maximum height. Remember when we are buying your tripod, not just to think about the DIYs you're doing, think of when you do the standing up uh, recordings and you need a higher tripod. That's my next target. But thankfully, my husband already had a Volben tripod that goes higher and that has been 
very helpful. Sometimes I also use this uh, roll leg, simple tripod in case I need to hold as I walk. But I don't do that much because most of my DIY are in a one place. The thing to think about is lighting. I didn't have much lighting. One of the things I tried to make sure is I used daylight. It's nice and it gives a nice warm glow on your skin or on the subject. But sometimes the sun sets or moves and that light changes. So I just used this floor lamp that has worked for me. It's not perfect. I've had to use an E27 daylight bulb that's about 16 watts. I sometimes put like a diffuser using baking paper so that it's not too sharp. And when I need to, I add another lamp like this. As you can see, with these two, this is with the light on and this is with the light off. And on, it does make a difference. The only thing to note for you doing DIYs is that sometimes you can't move with this lamp outside. Sometimes I do DIYs outside in the backyard, in the garage. Sometimes I start recording in the afternoon or morning and it's not done by night because maybe paint has to dry, maybe glue has to dry. So my light changes throughout the day and sometimes it can get frustrating. And so you need to be conscious as you pick your light, what you can use. I made the mistake of picking a mini selfie ring light. I didn't know exactly what this was for, but it's better for like makeup artists or the people who are doing close-ups. So when you're making your choices, try maybe get a, a bright loom cube. But if you need to illuminate your subjects, maybe if you're painting or if you're cooking, you need something like a an 18 inch round, uh, round ring or a soft box with light and this might also be more versatile to help you move at the different places as you can see sometimes I work here in the family room sometimes I'm in the sitting room sometimes I'm outside sometimes I'm in the garage depending on the craft I'm doing for the day I use a smart coil lavalier mic that is what was in my budget and it works great for me. Uh, it has six meters of cord, so when I do my DIYs, I can move around. Sometimes it's restricting or sometimes it will be seen in the shot because you're not always doing this vlogging face to face. So for you doing DIYs, consider maybe having a shotgun mic, a strong one, or a wireless mic. I also got this phone lens kit. That was a mistake because I didn't get an ex a high end sort of lens. And I thought I would get the wide angle so that I don't have to do lots of zooming and uh, get a wider view when I'm doing DIYs. But they have distortions on the end. So I ended up not even using it for once. So be careful what lens you buy. I know there are better ones out there for people who know please comment below and let me know and if i'm adding value please subscribe and press the notification button so that you can know when i share my next video i also use the sundisk 500 gb as my operating external drive and the 40b wd external hard drive for my storage and to round it off i still use my lenovo 520 yoga it actually works and it's not slow when i use my vstc editing software as you can see it is not hard to start most of what i mentioned as you've seen was not expensive the vstc editing program is free and that's because I'm using my laptop. There are many many programs you can use on your phone. I mentioned I will share with you 
three channels that have really helped me just remember keep learning keep growing some of these mistakes as i've gone along i would not have learned if i didn't make them they say your best videos are your worst because you're still learning and you will get better i have linked these three channels in the description below please check out tech gear think media and primal videos they have really helped me out god bless you for sticking with me i'm looking out to change this whole setup so look out for this video on how i changed my setup to upgrade a little bit god bless you barakatele